Hi everybody, uh, I'm Ali Hürriyetoğlu uh, from Koç University, Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, I'm going to introduce our work on uh, creating a cross-context uh, news corpus for protest events to you. Uh, this work is done uh, at Koç University with colleagues from there. Uh, the aim of this work to uh, uh, to create databases of events, protest events, uh, which we say content, content is politics, uh, whether these kind of events uh, uh, cause uh, welfare expansion over uh, uh, many countries, especially India, China, South Africa, Argentina, uh, and Brazil, and maybe Mexico. Uh, so uh, we need a good language resource, a high quality corpus that can capture all this variability. By protest, we mean uh, anything you may think as a uh, uh, content is politics, state demonstrations, industrial elections. The critical point here to be to have the variability are, uh, across countries like Pant and Idol immersion are uh, event types, protest types in uh, India. Uh, those are kind of some uh, examples. Uh, there are many uh, protest or event databases, but uh, to, to the best of our knowledge, none of them really consider uh, this cross-context uh, generalizability uh, of their models. So we wanted to start uh, from the language resource creation uh, from the very beginning to uh, capture this variability. So we hope our models will be more generalizable or it will be a test bed for us. Uh, at the end, the aim to have reliable and valid uh, event databases. Uh, our annotation methodology is like use local niche sources, uh, get random samples, use active learning, uh, uh, have the intended agreement as high as possible, and correct as many as possible uh, annotation errors, in, like spot checks uh, or uh, semi automatically train machine learning models and improve it uh, when you see errors. So, those are the main tasks. Uh, we have that many uh, patches or uh, data from various uh, sources. Uh, sentence, sentence count, when we keep the whole document, we annotate all sentences of a document. Total sentence count is uh, like this for three batches. Uh, for token level, we annotate trigger, place, time, organizer, target. Uh, and trigger is the most essential. So if it doesn't occur, the document is not re relevant. The cross-context performance, when we train our, our models on India data and test it, uh, test these models on China or South Africa is like this. There is a drop in the performance, but we can measure it now. So it is, uh, and we can work on it to improve it. Uh, the, the token level performance is like this. Trigger is quite good because we are optimizing for it. Uh, for other types, we uh, tested flared uh, name and recognition model. Uh, the scores are better. The ACE conflict category uh, scores uh, lower, and this shows its limitation for this uh, domain. Uh, the token level is the most critical. Therefore, we, co uh, we, we check whether document level or sentence level information helps it, uh, but sentence level doesn't. The token level uh, has a good F1, balanced one. We release the corpus by sharing uh, URLs, software, and Docker. And if the task is token level, we just share sentences that contain information. We have need, uh, we have some targets like multilinguality or checking whether the document contain more than one event uh, and creating global event database. Please check our shared tasks at Clay 2019. We use this uh, part of this corpus. Uh, we uh, organized a workshop at ARREC this year for uh, event sentences, whether they co uh, So thank you very much for uh, your uh, time. Uh, please contact us uh, and consider to join uh, our email list so we will be in touch to uh, hopefully progress in this field altogether.